Hello beautiful acne fighters, Johanna here, acne specialist with another acne Q&A where you ask me your acne question and I give you the answer and the solution to your problems. Okay, today's question comes from the Bay Area from a young woman with a very common problem. It says, Hi, Joe. I'm wondering if you have any suggestions on back acne. Out of nowhere, about a week and a half ago, I started breaking out like a teenager on steroids on my back. So, I have the answer. And just to let you guys know, this question was sent to me about two weeks ago. I sent her her products and she's already getting clear. So now I'm here to help you guys with the same issue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you how to clear up your back acne, how to prevent it, and then I'm gonna share with you guys my back acne story. You ready? Get your popcorn, okay? And your pen and paper too, you might need it. When a client comes to me with back acne, the first thing I have them do is stop using whatever shampoo and conditioner they've been using. You see those rich, emollient, fragrant shampoos and conditioners that are great for our hair are horrible for acneic skin. So if you want to use those fancy schmancy hair products, you're gonna to have to wash your hair in the sink because if you have back acne, the only shampoo and conditioner you should be using in the shower would be a, a medicated dandruff shampoo or a baby shampoo. Then when it comes to cleansing and treating the skin on the back, I will have clients use a acne body wash, for instance, like Penoxyl. It's a 10% benzoyl peroxide wash. What you're gonna do is you're gonna use your hands and you're going to gently cleanse the back twice a day. When you get out of the shower, that's when I'm gonna suggest two of my products, which is my 10% benzoyl peroxide and also my mud mask. So when you get out of the shower and you pat dry with a nice clean towel, you're then going to apply my 10% benzoyl peroxide. Once that soaks in, I then suggest a little drop of my mud mask on the bigger lesions, dot the mud on there, let it dry up, once it's dry, you can then get dressed and your skin should start to look clear the very next day. Now, let me share with you guys my back acne story. So I'm 51 now and when I had the absolute worst back acne breakout of my entire life, I was about 32 years old. The crazy thing is I'm working as an acne specialist and I had a breakout. No big deal, I did what I teach all my clients to do. So first, let's look at the cause of my horrible back breakout. I was running my business out of a beauty salon at the time, and this beauty salon brought in a really well-known hair care line. You would think this hair care line would be great because they're mindful about the ingredients, they're mindful about the environment supposedly, but it just did not work well with my acneic skin. So after using this shampoo and conditioner uh, several times, I had what I call peanut M&Ms on my back. Huge, big, painful pimples from my neck all the way to my waist. What did I do? I did exactly what I teach my clients to do. I stopped using that shampoo and conditioner, which I know was the cause of it, and I used an acne wash in the shower, and when I got out, I had my ex-husband at the time put my 10% benzoyl peroxide on my back. Once that soaked in, I then put mud on the bigger ones. Instantly, it felt less itchy, it felt soothed, it felt calm. And then once it dried, I put on a, a nice white t-shirt so the benzoyl peroxide wouldn't bleach the sheets. And in the morning after my shower, I had my ex-husband apply the benzoyl peroxide again. And what he said was, when he saw my back in the morning, he said, oh my gosh, it's already a thousand times better. And I said, yes, it's because my stuff works really well. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. All right, then once the acne was under control, here's how to prevent it. You absolutely need to avoid those products that could be causing the acne, then you must scrub 
the body. And what I recommend to scrub the body with are those Asian body scrubbers is what I call them. You can find them at the Asian markets or even Whole Foods or health food stores sell them. They're an antimicrobial fiber and they're also machine washable. You cannot scrub your back with some dirty old loofah or brush that's collecting mold and sitting in the bathroom for six months. You need to use those type of fibers that are machine washable. You would not believe how much dead skin cells build up on our body, especially on acneic skin. So once the acne is gone and calm down, you then absolutely need to scrub the body. And at that point when there's no acne, using just a natural body wash is just fine. And then if you were to ever get one pimple, maybe from your sports bra or whatever it could be, you then need to really stay on top of those pimples with what I suggest, the benzoyl peroxide, and then also my mud. I hope this video helps you guys. If you have any questions, make sure and reach out. Good luck with your skin.